Cape Town, Tavern of the Seas. Here, beaches and bikinis abound, but it's also the venue for an important motor race. Kelani Baan, waar jaars van oral oor bij mekaar kom vir die eerste Formule 1 wedren van 1969. John Love, beroep a garage eienaar van Bulawayo. Basil van Rooyen, directeur van een specialiste garage bezigheid. Jackie Pretorius, dienstbestuurder van een Johannesburgse garage. Sam Tingle van Hartley Rhodesia, directeur van een grondverskuivingsonderneming. Dave Charlton jaag reeds 8 jaar het sy eie spoedonderdele garage. Op 30-jarige ouderdom het Bobby Althoff reeds 12 jaar sy wetrenne achter die rug. Clive Pusey, eienaar van een garage en motormonteerhaven in Rhodesia. Out for practice on the 2.03 mile circuit, which consists of holes hooked, corner dab slip Malmesbury sweep round BP bend into the main straight Basil van Rooyen comes in after practice and is interviewed by Terry Scott, managing editor of Motoring Mirror. Basil van Rooyen, who has just bought a brand new car. Basil, what sort of car is it and where does it come from? McLaren. Yeah, it comes from uh, the works McLaren stable, Terry. In fact, this is the only one away from the McLaren stable, isn't it? The only privately owned one so far, yeah. How did you manage to get this car? Well, a lot of leg uh, pulling and a lot of twisting and a lot of asking and a lot of begging. What, what sort of top speed do you think you'd be able to get sort of down the main straight at Kalani? Well, Kalani is a very short circuit, but nevertheless, with the power this car's got, we hope to get about 170 miles an hour. Race day and zero hour approaches for the 50 lap 100 mile event. John Love in his Team Gunston Lotus Ford has number one grid position. Next to him is Basil van Royen, McLaren. Sam Tingle, Repco Brabham, holds number three position. <laughs> Ryan number three leads the field, followed by Love number one, Tingle number two, Pretorius number eight, and Charlton number seven. But Ryan streaks ahead, and John Love gets a close up of the McLaren's exhaust pipes. The cars are already strung out. Down the main straight, speeds up to 150 miles per hour are reached. Number five, Bob Oltoff and Jackie Pretorius number eight are having a tremendous dice for fourth position. passes him on quarry corner to take the lead. Bobby Oltoff laps a Formula 2 car. An excited Terry Scott comments on the race. John Love's in the lead and I think he's got a lead of about two seconds. John Love has taken the lead now. He's taking it on 10th lap. Rond 25 and Love's fantastic bestuursvermoe wordt beëindigd. Een grote leerstelling voor hom wat zijn voorsprong met de tweede ronde vergroot het. Love's commentaar. Well, as you know, these things come out with a, with a ZF gearbox and we put a Hewlin in because it was a lot of easier to get the right and correct gear ratios. And it looks as though one of the drive shafts has snapped at the back. Oh my goodness, this is a It's a pity, thing. it's an experimental, or was experimental, it was well thought out, but it didn't, it didn't bloody well work. Met die kampioen uit is het van Rooyen wat die porto neem, terwijl Dave Charlton en Sam Tingle spook om die tweede plek. Bob Oltoff en Jackie Pretorius hou aan met de private onder onsie. With four laps to go, Tingle passes Charlton for second position. Van Royen, leading by 94 seconds, takes the checkered flag, followed by Tingle second and Charlton third. 
Congratulations to Basil van Royen on his great win in the Cape Southeaster of 1969.